Yo, yo, it is a new vlog. It is a new day. I'm making a cup of tea. And then we are about to do a test fit on GTR wheels. I'm using my oat milk and I'm having a tetley. I'm concentrating right now. Concentrating on a brew. How strong is your brew? How strong is your bloody brew? Oh, that's cushy that. Some of you haven't seen my living room. It's very dark. It goes dark as soon as you come in here. Check it. Beast mode! Out there is pretty ghetto still. But don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. We are in my humble abode, my home. My whole house is going to look like this at some point. But I don't get any time at the moment. So for now, there's only one room that's Persian rugged. Animal print couch. Retro lit. And plants everywhere. Not one of my plants is real. Now, before we go any further in today's video, I wanted to show you a brand new owner hoodie that we've dropped. And then we're going to test fit some wheels to my Nissan GTR, which is going to be a fantastic introduction and additive to some awesome episodes on this channel. So, intros are dead boring, so I'm going to get straight to it and show you my brand new hoodies. Do, do. These are the brand new owner hoodies. They've just dropped. And basically... We've got the same deal as always on owner right now, which is a free t-shirt with every single hoodie. So we've got that small logo on the front. And we've got the Wildcat logo on the back. Check it. How sick are they? Owner Wildcat hoodies available right now. Ownerofficial.com or just search owner on any socials and you'll find us. Free t-shirt with every single hoodie. That's no joke. That's a serious deal. You're buying a hoodie, add your t-shirt for free. It's an epic deal. You've got to get involved. I was about to bring the GTR in and then realised and remembered that the keys are in the house, not in my pocket. So, check it. I'm going to bring the GTR in and then we're going to try my new wheels, which are insane, which you can watch the unboxing video of on my channel, the video before this video. Check it. Strong in here. So there you go. GTR is in. Today is the wheel day install. Been waiting to do this for about two weeks, you have no idea. Look at the beast. Did you go and get your free owner t-shirt? If you didn't, why didn't you? Free t-shirt every hoodie, are you crazy? Are you crazy to pass up on that deal? Won't be a forever thing, you know. Look how insane the GTR is. Check it out. Absolutely mad, bagged out. Mad. Insanity. What a rig. What an absolute rude boy rig. Jesus Christ. Okay, so I'm going to put yous on this stool here. This shouldn't be a massive procedure. This should be semi mellow. We need to see if we can get both wheels in the air from just jacking up once. Let's try. So I'm going to jack it up from the front there and hopefully that raises the rear wheel enough as well. Unless you're supposed to do one at a time, which would be mad, because I'm not going to do one at a time. So I'm just going to do that, and then I'm going to get a 
I'm gonna break. I'm gonna do the front first. The front's cool, isn't it? Let's do the front. So I'm just gonna break the, um, this is my torque wrench that I've got. Now you're not really supposed to use them backwards, but one of them, innit? I'm just gonna break the, um, the, the stiffness on them. So I can use a buzz gun when it's up in the air. I actually think we're gonna get the rears as well in the air on the same jack. Rears are up as well. Jeez. So, it's to put gloves on because I'm always using laptops and cars and cards and phones and dogs and kitchens. My hands are always rotten. Not today, baby. Not today. This is going to be mental. One wheel off. Oh, Jesus. Big beasts. Big root boys. Nice. All looks well. <laughs> okay, let's start. Front one's off. Let's get the rear one off. Check it out, we've got no wheel there. And we've got no wheel there. Damn! Bad boy. It's a bad boy. So, for those of you who haven't seen the last video, Rotiform have given me a set of KPSs in nine and a half and 11 on the rear, so they are super wide, very wide still. So nine and a half to the front, concaved rears. Now, in the show world, you use some wood and you put wood underneath the wheels, acting as a tire, and you do a bag out on the rim with no tire to test the wheel. So that's what we're doing today. Got skinny socket to the rescue. Looks pretty sick like that. Pretty cool. This steel, I got them off Driftworks for like 50 quid. Bolts. Right, let's try this. Take two. Jeez, way better. Now what I want to know is, do I need a spigot ring? Will I need a spigot ring? I don't think so. They just... And when I say just, I mean they just clear the brakes. Do they even clear? Yeah, just, and I mean just, just clear the brakes. Which is good, that's what you want. You want it to be like super tight fitment. Millimeters. Okay. Boy, man, these are going to be insane, I know it already. They're just going to be a flex. The flex. If in doubt, tighten it up to flat out. Right, 
they're on. Listen to the prop. And they clear the brakes. They clear the brakes, they clear the inside. This is pretty risky business on a jack. That will crush my head. They clear the jack. They clear everything. We've got no stresses. Oh my God. Look at this. This is mad. Look at that. Car's really dirty, I'm really sorry. But that's them test fitted. Look at the brakes behind them. Jeez. You can proper see the brakes. That is almost perfect stance. When it goes cambered, it'll take a bit of pressure off. That is epic. Is there like that? And we're gonna do rear wheel number one. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna get the socket now. I'm nervous. I'm nervous for us as a community. Epic the red bolts, I like them. They are insane. Jeez, oh my good God. That is a set of rims there. Jeez. Right. All gravy. So they've cleared. Chunky boys. That's with the spacer on as well, they look epic. Let's tighten them up. Jeez. Look at this. They are raw boys, look at them. Bit of poke on that drive height. Bit of camber, bit of poke. And basically, they got that nice staggered look and that's gonna tuck excessively. That's with a 25 mil spacer on the rear. So these are such a sick fit. Oh, this will be funny if this goes wrong. So I'm filming it. <laughs> I've never done this before. I'm new to all this show stuff. It's mad. So I've got to drop the car slowly onto these wooden blocks, which I'd imagine might not go as well as it seems like it's gonna. So we may as well film it. Oh my God, that's so stiff. Oh my God. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yo! Yo! How do I... I'm thinking, yeah, does the wood have to be quite high? Nah, straight the wood. Well, because look, so I've done it, yeah, but it's gonna bag out onto the wood. No, so you need to move the wood back. Oh, got you. Or cut it in half. How long is it on the other side? Yeah. Cut the wood in half. Cut it in half? Yeah, but just cut it in half. You being serious? Okay, this is really dodgy, but whatever. Basically, I'm using these blocks off the quick jacks. Oh my God, they do kind of look like they're trying to pop out sideways. But I think they'll be okay. I'm gonna try. It's probably more the car that drops down, not the wheel. Let's try it right now. Let's see how 
she bags out. Let's see how she bags out on the new wheels. This is gonna be mental. Mental. Jeez. Hope you guys are ready for this. It's gonna be crazy to experience together. Right. Let me check my blocks. Not looking too bad, the old blocks. It's not gonna beat like that. Roti babies. Oh my god, that is in. The rear's well better. The rear's amazing. I feel like the front's talking a bit too hard. I feel like the front wants a 20 mil spacer, maybe. Oh my god. To be fair, I think the front's talking. The rear's so much chunkier. The rear's a beast. Right, the reveal. Let's go. Check it out. So basically, it's gonna bag out like that. Look at that for fitment. That's insane. Wow. There's not on there. Sketchy on these <laughs> quick jack blocks. Look at that. That is fresh as beep. Back looks amazing. Front tucking hard and all. Hard, hard, hard. Jeez. You know what? They've actually smashed it there. That is epic. Epic. Aggressive on the back now. Look at that. Proper, moody, aggressive looking car now. Oh my God. The KPS. Woo. Oh my God. Look at the brakes and everything. I can't believe that. Let's, have, let's show you the difference now, watch this. This is insane. So from here, look at the tuck fitment on the rear there, and then look how much more swallowed the standard boys are. Jeez. I'm a very happy guy right now. Very happy guy. Very happy guy. Oh my God, look at it from here. Oh my god, that is flexing. You have to think, so this gap underneath the wheel would be a lot lower in a minute because the tyre profile would be smaller than that, meaning overall the rear bumper and the skirt will be lower. But you get the gist on how hard it's going to tuck right now. Look at that. That is incredible. Looks so much more modified. They're well better. So, the plan is now, I'm going to put it in the air on quick jacks. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to do that. I am going to do that. And I'm going to take all the wheels off. 
I put everything in my van and I'm going to find somebody who will do the tyres. And that might be in the next video.